eight inch chipper, petrol or diesel? That might be a big question for some of you right now, so let's help you make up your mind by giving you the facts. Here at Force, we've got two main options, a 55 horsepower DPF diesel in our 8D series, or a 57 horsepower petrol in our 8P series. Both machines are essentially the same, just a different power source under the bonnet. So let's take a closer look. First up, performance. So, as you can see, when it comes to the speed at which these machines chip, there isn't much in it. The petrol has two horsepower more, but the diesel has a little bit more torque. In terms of the way they handle the material and throw the chip, they're the same. That amazing force performance and aggression is there with both machines. Same guts, different engine. So, fuel economy. This is where you will notice a bit of a difference. With the 8-inch machines, the petrol is going to be a bit more thirsty than the all-new DPF diesel version. This is a new engine built from the ground up for stage five. It's not an old engine made clean, it's a new engine and it's pretty fuel efficient. With the six inch chippers in the forced range, you won't really notice a difference between the petrol and diesel when it comes to fuel economy. But with the bigger engines, you'll notice it more. So, servicing and maintenance. The petrol engine has a more traditional schedule. First one at 50 hours and then every 200 hours after that. The DPF diesel, however, has a 500 hour interval service plan. A bit like a modern car, it only needs a little bit of TLC. Now, the 500 hour service is also really straightforward. Just a few new parts and some new oil. The oil is more expensive, but the overall costs won't be any more expensive for the service. With the petrol servicing, although it's more frequent, it's also really simple. Just new filter and oil, just like you've been used to. Nothing you can't do yourself. The Doosan Diesel has a three-year warranty, the Kubota Petrol has a one-year. Both these machines are really easy to live with. The petrol is straightforward and easy to look after. Kubota have a bulletproof reputation, and as you can't bulk store petrol, you can simply fill it up on the forecourt like you would do with your vans. The diesel, contrary to what some people might tell you, is also really easy to live with. You do your daily maintenance like you would do with the petrol, but you only have to service it once every 500 hours. And as it takes red diesel, which many of you bulk store, it saves you money on the tax and it's more convenient. The only additional thing with this machine is the regen or burn-off process that the DPF has to do. There are two different types of regen. Passive regen, which the machine does automatically whilst working, which you won't really know anything about, and a full regen, which takes around 40 minutes and happens roughly every 300 hours. The machine will tell you when that needs to happen so you can schedule a convenient time. So, all in all, there you have it. They're both great machines. There's not really much between them. Why not book a demo and come and find out for yourself? Both machines come in both a wheeled or a tracked variant. So if you need an 8-inch chipper, we've got you covered.